I got a coat of primer on my milling machine table. And man, is it looking a lot better. A lot more regular. Still haven't decided whether I'm going to go white, black, or silver, or gray with this thing yet. I'm kind of liking gray. I got a feeling it's going to look good with that, uh, that Harbor Freight red. All I know is I should have more ventilation in here because I'm feeling a little bit loopy. Oh. Right now it's standing on the uh, the nuts, basically. For the leveling for the leveling feet. Now those little holes are the uh, ones on the sides. Originally, this was going to be a bolt together project because I didn't have a good welder at the time. All I had was a little Harbor Freight, and it just wanted to make boogers. Come to find out, there's a limitation on the thickness of metal that thing can handle. And uh, I was trying to weld quarter inch, and it did not. Uh, I didn't want to cooperate. It handles eighth inch okay, but still a little bit spattery. But um, yeah, what I ended up doing was just tacking it after it was all bolted together and then took the brackets off, saved one of the seams for last. So I just tacked all those three corners. And then at the very end, I just opened that up enough to dump all the bolts out, pushed it back together, made sure everything was square and tacked it and ran beads. I don't think I'm going to be going through that kind of hell again unless um, I really have to. If I have to make sure something is very square, I'll probably do it that way. And my, that might even be a moot point. I ordered one of those uh, Northern Tool 90 degree angle clamps. So we'll see how good that does. It's made of cast iron. It's got a 2 inch throat on it. So I think it can handle this up to 4 inches, no problem. I've been using, um, for a right angle jig. Because this table, I mean, you try to weld on this table, and it is just, it's saggy. It's really thin sheet metal this thing's made out of, but uh, it's not really all that, it's not a flat surface. And I have been using, I got this from Harbor Freight. I got a mess, excuse it. I got this from Harbor Freight. It does okay, but you try to put anything with any weight in it, and it just flexes, because the thing is just cast aluminum or zinc or something not very burly. I probably do good for, you know, small things like one inch tubing or maybe some kind of wood project or something, but for this two inch stuff, it doesn't do too well. It just flexes because one second things will be square and you get things that think you think things are the way you want them. And then uh, you move and go do something else and you come back and the, it is not square anymore. So in a pinch, it probably worked okay. This right here, is for my craftsman bandsaw table. I'm not going to use this angled piece probably. I'm just going to have this piece. It's a piece of U-channel. Oh, I don't know why I marked the top. <laughs> I just realized something. <laughs> Tell you what I might do though, since I got the top marked, I'll drill little tiny holes in all four of these corners. And that way I can locate my my tubes. Yeah. I do it from the other side, but it's a hell of a pain in the ass considering there's all these. It's not square, you know. A lot more difficult to get any kind of accuracy on the underside of that. But I figure it'll make a nice little platform for for that little wood wood turning bandsaw. And I got a uh, or wood cutting bandsaw. I got one of those four by six uh, Harbor Freights over there. I'm gonna do something similar, but um, and I saved uh, the larger of the two chunks of that channel iron or channel steel or whatever the hell you want to call it, right here. And there's plenty there. And I haven't decided whether I'm gonna mount that upside down or right side up. Um, I think I'd probably do better this way. I just locate my holes, weld to this 
sucker here. It'll naturally have a little angle. There's another thing I haven't really figured out yet is how to get my angles to where there are two axes, axes at the same time. You know, so that, that bottom part would be square. I suppose I could use self-leveling feet, but that's cheating. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, waiting for paint to dry so I can give it one coat before I go to bed. Uh, anyway, that's it.